Hey KCP brothers and sisters, I'm Eric Hine, most of you know that, and I just wanted to talk to you this evening or this morning whenever you're watching this uh, about some of the things happening at church. As you know, I'm at the university and dealing with a lot of issues surrounding COVID, and we've had cases there. Well, we've had some cases at KCP this past week too, and it's important that you know that because some of you may decide not to RSVP because of that. Now the good news is those people are isolating themselves like they're supposed to be and their contacts that they've had close contact with are quarantining like they're supposed to be. But that being said, we know that the virus is around and it was only inevitable that some of us would come down with it. So I just wanted to talk a little bit uh, with you right now about some of the safety measures that uh, we have in place and maybe just further explain them. The first one is facial coverings. Now, I think most of you have gotten used to wearing them, not only at church, but around town as well. But it is important to wear them whenever you start coming within six feet of anyone. So that means as you're coming into the church, into the lobby, as you go into the sanctuary, and as you leave as well. Uh, it is important to wear them while singing, but I think it's also time that we consider wearing them during the service as well. I know that it's uncomfortable, that they can be warm, but it really does add an extra layer of protection uh, for those around you. Uh, just in case you are an asymptomatic carrier, and some people are, you may feel totally fine, but you could be shedding the virus. The other thing is after the service, when we're all fellowshipping, it is important to try and maintain that six feet of spacing. I know it can be hard to hear, even if you're three feet away from someone while wearing a mask, but it is important the mask is not a substitute for the six feet of spacing. And speaking of that, the spacing when we're sitting is also important. Obviously, we've removed rows uh, to create a wider type of row, but it is important that you leave three chairs in between your family or friend pod and the next one. And that's important when you come in, if you can get up to the church a little early and actually arrange that, because if you come in late and just sit down next to someone, sometimes that interrupts or disrupts the three seat spacing that we're supposed to have. So we're really trying to maintain that as best we can. Uh, I do want to encourage you that if you develop symptoms that are consistent with COVID, and most of you know what they are, it is important to isolate yourself immediately, and that means staying in your house other than to get testing done. It is possible it could be another virus, but until you get the test done, you just don't know. And if you are positive, you want to isolate for a full 10 days from the onset of your symptoms, and you want to notify those people that you've been in contact with, close contact, which is defined as within six feet uh, or less, for a cumulative amount of 15 minutes uh, during the course of a day. Um, and just let them know that they need to quarantine. Now, quarantining is as hard as isolation because you have to stay in your house, uh, except for medical emergencies, and you have to stay uh, quarantined from others for 14 days. You don't wanna get tested too early because if you get tested like day four of your quarantine, it may be way too early and you might come with a negative test and think, oh, I don't have it. But the reality is it can take up to 10 to even 14 days to come down with the virus, with the symptoms. So the CDC is recommending you wait till day 10 and then get your test. If that is negative, they still want you to stay in quarantine a full 14 days. I know this can get really confusing at times, and if, if you are confused, uh, like many of my compatriots have been, feel free to give me a call or text me, write me an email. I'd be more than happy to try and clarify it for you. But as much as we can, we obviously want to protect one another and show mutual respect and love in Christ for one another by taking these precautions. They're not the most fun thing in the world. I understand that. But they are a way in which we can limit the spread. And we just want to show both one another and those around us the love of Christ. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. I love you. I love the church. Let's be safe.